We're ready for part two of this question. We did all the calculus. Now we're going to do all the computation. Above we wrote p, well we had to do a lot of steps, but we eventually wrote p as a function of t. I just wrote function notation here. So p of t equals this uh, on the right. m is the max population. In my problem it's 9,400. I don't know what it is in yours. Uh, let's get some more space. All right, I'm going to work on all the rest of the values. Stocked, uh, the biologist stocked a lake with 400 fish. Now, we're going to assume time zero is when it was stocked with fish, which means this happens when t equals zero. We have 400 fish. So when t equals zero, p of zero, the population at time zero is 400. Remember, p is population. Uh, let's see. The other part's not written, it's written verbally uh, as a number, number fish tripled in the first year. All right, first year is also part of that as well. All right, that means P of one, so the population at time one after one year is triple what it was. So 400 times three is 1,200. And hopefully with those two values, we can recover uh, K, and there's another constant, I called it B. So those are the two constants we're trying to discover. Uh, we already know that M is 9,400, so we're not trying to solve or figure that one out. P of T, 9,400 divided by 1 plus B E negative K T. Okay. So let's uh, plug in P of 0 is 400 now. So P of 0, 9400 divided by 1 plus, so we have B times E to the 0. E to the 0 is not 0. E to the 0 is 1. So it's well, over 1 plus B. All right, and P of zero is 400, so on the left side, this is all equal to 400. I'm gonna find B, so we're gonna multiply both sides by the denominator to get out of fraction land. No one likes it there, least of all me. All right, divide by 400. Subtract one. All right, let's go grab a calculator and be lazy. Uh, that has a fraction in it. Anyways, I think it'll get down to a half. 94 over four. I love the Desmos scientific calculator. Over four minus one. Oh, it does have a half in it. I was right. 22.5. If you're a fraction person, 45 over two. What kind of person am I today? Let's be a decimal person today, 22.5. All right, so that's B. Uh, one of the reasons I decided to be a decimal person is because we're already dealing with a big fraction. I don't want to have more fractions in here. All right, I'm going to rewrite this. We know M and B. We just don't know K. So rewrite RP of T. 9,400 divided by 1 plus B was 20. 2.5 e negative kt. All right, we're about to figure out the rate. We're using p of 1 equals 1,200. That was that tripling after one year. All right, p of 1 equals 9,400 divided by 1 plus 22.5. 5e negative k, and that's it because t is 1. Absolutely, you can plug in 1, but negative k times 1 is negative k. Let's pretend we're clever here, leave it like that. Uh, I do need to put the value in for p of 1. 1200 
All right, to solve for k, we're going to do some really similar steps to what we did uh, a few minutes ago. And multiply by the denominator. Now the denominator is just slightly more complicated, no worries. Divide by that uh, 1200. If you're an algebra whiz, you could have divided by 1200 and subtracted 1 at the same time, but you better do it in the right order or you are in trouble. Alright, what in the world am I doing here? I'm reducing the fraction as much as I can in my head. I realize 94 is even, uh, so it can reduce further with 12, but it's not going to save me much typing. Anyways, subtract 1. Okay, you can't subtract this without a calculator, no problem, but let's just keep going here. Dividing by 22.5 or multiplying by 1 over 22.5. Very reasonable to turn that into a decimal right now, but let's just power through this. All right, e to the negative k. I have to take the natural log of both sides. So we're going to ln the entire equation. Now on the left, ln of e to the negative k turns into just a negative k. And on the right, uh, we have ln of all this stuff. Alright, here is where we're going to grab the calculator. Uh, multiply both sides by negative 1. I'm way too lazy to rewrite this, so I'll just uh, move the negative like that. Okay, let's run over to Desmos again. Negative ln of 1 over 22.5 times more stuff that I forgot, 94 twelfths minus 1. There we go. All right, I'm going to forget this as well. The instructions did say uh, round to some decimal places. Like five decimal places or so. Oh, come on. You want me to remember that number? My goodness. 1.191702. One point nineteen seventeen oh two 1.191702. Something, 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 something. 712. Oh boy. All right. Okay, so that should be K. Let's scroll up, see if we get that one. K. Oh, got lucky. All right. They did round, but anyways, you can feel free to round as well. All right, I think this part right here is just the P of T function with the K value plugged in. Uh, let's. I'll use their rounding right there, 191703. Well, they're technically both approximations. Whenever you use a calculator, it's almost always an approximation. Okay, so let's plug in this to P of T, 9400. I'm trying to remember which one. I think we're going to use this one right there. All right, divided by 1 plus 22.5 e negative k 1.191703t. All right, so that should be answer number two. Excellent. All right. All right, number B. How long will it take for the population to increase to 4,700? Okay. When is population of 40,000? 
3700. I hope that was the right number. Yes. All right. When was it that? So we're trying to solve P of T equals 4700. Okay. And we're trying to solve 4T eventually. So I'm going to plug in P of T. If you are using web work, you can not web work. In my open math, you can submit uh, one or two parts and it doesn't count against your number of tries for the parts you did not submit uh, answers to. All right, if you're feeling uh, confident, the algebra steps I'm about to do are the same ones I did in part two of this video when we solved for k. We're just solving for the other variable inside the exponent now. All right, divide both sides, 9,400. Uh, no, let's multiply by the denominator first. Uh, too lazy to write that out. All right, the denominator is 1 plus 22.5e negative. Oh my gosh. No, I totally forgot some digits here. It's way worse than that. There's an extra. No, it's just an extra one. Okay. 1703t. Okay. Divide by 4700. Uh, I'm also going to subtract 1. That's that. Uh, the next step would be the minus 1. The next step would be divide by the 22.5. Let's get crazy. Do all of this at once. I don't want to write the intermediate steps. They're not terribly fun. Wow. All right. Almost there. Natural log both sides. Uh, this is a great time to use a calculator on the next step. Oh, I should have remembered that right there is 2 because it's half the carrying, carrying capacity. Uh, so I'm going to simplify that to 2. 2 minus 1, I could probably do that in my head. E of the uh, ln of the E cancels. I'm going to check that uh, K value I just wrote down. I think it's right. Where do we get there? Here it is. 191703. All right. Good enough. 191703. Okay. Divide by that number. 